What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out this new episode of Rest Race with Vic. For today's episode, we are gonna be customizing these all white Air Max 90s into a colorful, funky looking custom. What I'm gonna be doing to the shoes is adding a bunch of different colors, adding a star stencil on the uppers, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a chameleon color shifting paint. It's gonna be awesome, so let's get started. Before we get started prepping the shoe with acetone and cotton balls, I want to thank all of our subscribers for the love and support. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and like this video. So now let's get to it. Shoes are prepped, now the next thing we're gonna do is tape off the shoe except for the sock liner so we can airbrush it using Jacquard's Violet Purple. Sock liner is ready to go. On camera, it might look like it's blue, but in person, it's purple. I'm not sure why the camera is not picking up the true color, but it's purple. Now let's move on to the next step, which is removing the tape. The next step we're gonna do is paint this portion of the midsole, as well as the inside and the back tab using all five colors. First thing I'm gonna do is tape off the rest of the shoe first. We're all done laying down the colors. It's looking very prideful. Now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is removing the tape and painting the leather. We're gonna be painting some of the upper areas with this custom blue, purplish, gray color. And we're gonna be applying it with a paintbrush.
We're finally done laying down this bluish grayish color on the uppers. So far so good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is tape off certain areas of the shoe so we can start laying down the star stencil. All right, shoes are taped up. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is these stencils that my dude Daniel provided for us. The first thing we gotta do is remove the, spa the negative space from the stencil, then apply it on the shoe. Now the next thing we're gonna do is apply a white base coat onto the stars. Then after that, we're gonna apply the same colors we applied on the midsole and back tab all over the stars randomly. We're almost there, we only need two more colors, but before I do that, I'm gonna apply a white base coat. All five colors are laid down. Now it's time to remove the tape and stencils. Stars are down, almost done. Now the next thing we gotta do is tape off everything but this big panel that wraps around the shoe, both swooshes, and the toe box. So we can start laying down that color shifting chameleon paint. Shoes are taped up. Before we can start laying down the color shifting paint, we gotta lay down a black base first. To create the color shifting paint, you're gonna need a pigment from a company called Solar Color Dust. You're gonna wanna mix a gram with an ounce of neutral and a bit of tooth thin so it could be airbrush ready. I'll leave a link in the description below to where to purchase.
I'm gonna paint this down. Let me tell you, it is freaking sick. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera from where I'm at, but it's awesome. The Beatles will be proud. Uh, we've been working on this video for about 12 hours straight. Um, we were trying to finish them up tonight, but I am beat. Um, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, so what we're gonna do is wrap it up for tonight, come back, and finish them up. Day two of working on this shoe. As you can see, the shoe's already taped up. Took care of that off camera, so we can move on to the next step, which is applying the star stencil onto the toe box, then airbrushing with the metallic yellow color. Before we lay down the yellow, we're gonna go ahead and lay down a quick white base coat. Almost done with the custom, it's looking really good, it's coming together. Now the next thing we're gonna do is paint the letters on the colorful back tab with some black paint. Back letters are completely done, looks nice and crisp. Now we're gonna move on to the final step, which is dyeing all the plastic pieces on the shoe with some yellow sole dye. The plastic pieces are dyed yellow. Looks really good, but I'm not totally satisfied. So what I'm gonna do is change the colors from these upper pieces to an orange color. We're finished dyeing these pieces orange. In my opinion, these look a lot better orange than they were yellow. But anyway, done. All we gotta do now is lace them up. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up on these custom Magical Mystery Tour Air Max 90s. Honestly, these are freaking awesome. I just love the chameleon colors and the stars and even the rainbow colors. These were a big pain in the ass to work with, but I really enjoyed working on these. I know a lot of you guys might not like the colorway, but that's okay. I just hope you guys can appreciate the craftsmanship. The reason why I wanted to do this custom so bad is because I'm a big Beatles fan and I just love the album Magical Mystery Tour. Also, this year is his 50th anniversary, so this is my tribute to the Beatles. Make sure to let us know in the comment section below what your favorite Beatles song is. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next Monday.